Wow, this is Terrence Gangster Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Answer Right Back, a.k.a. The People's Chat, Terrence Civilian Williams. First, before I must get this going, first uh, off top, shout out to Bam Bam, the 411 Giant. Bam Bam, the bottom boy, this is, this is his gear right here. His YouTube channel is BXBZ YouTube from Born and Raised in Shreveport. And now I got to shout out my nephew, High Boy Gator, the chairman of the trenches. That's High Boy Gator, the chairman of the trenches. Then I got to shout out one of the hottest rappers in Shreveport, in the ratchet, the big ratchet, Big Papa, a.k.a. Pill Man. Yeah, man, a.k.a. the pill, man. I got to shout him out because while I was out there, uh, oh, but shout out to my boy P. Weezy, uh, a.k.a. Popeye. Um, while I was out there, Big Papa was performing. You know, he had he had everybody, he had them all crunk, he had it lit. And when we hooked up, you know, we introduced ourselves, you know, happened to meet one another. And he was so humble. And this is his city where he took a step back and just let me take the pictures and shine. And I said, that's a person right there who used to fame, who used to it. And um, and, and I pray that he go further and further with his rap career because he's a humble guy. And got some hit songs. Shout out to the whole Shreveport. Shout out to the whole ratchet. Man, it was it was some overwhelming love out there. 50 Cent. That's right, 50 Cent. That man showed us how to conduct some business. And well, not only he brought business and fun to Shreveport, he made sure that everybody was safe. And, and guess what? This, this is the other thing I was thinking about. He made it affordable. He made it affordable to get in the events and the events that some events we had to pay. Some, some of the sp stuff was so lit and crunk where they was like, you know what? We gonna make sure everybody good. You go up under the bridge, go over here, get the better tech, make sure you get better weapons out of them things on now. And you come on through here. It was love, man. It's not like Cassandra's restaurant. Yeah, I went there twice. I went there twice. And I got a shout out. Southern Classic. Chicken Place. I went there twice. I double back. But I want to make this clear. Uh, Gator. Hot Boy Gator. And Bam Bam. They ain't better than Popeye. See, I just told y'all that because I was down in y'all sitting in the ratchet and I had to be, you did? So I just want to make that clear, all right? Shout out to Southern Classic Chicken. Um, hot boy Gator, man. He showed me so much love, made sure I was okay, showed me around. I mean, he all, and, 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 um, Bam Bam. Y'all, a lot of people don't know about Bam Bam. Bam Bam is a living legend. Bam Bam is literally 4'11". did 27 years in federal prison. Went to trial for 30 days. Born and raised in Shreveport, but whenever he hit a compound, the guy from Louisiana respect him. That compound become his. 411, can you picture a man 411 years old? 411, I say years old. 411, at height, 411, talking about, now nah, we're gonna do this, now nah, we're gonna do this, now nah, you, all right, let me see your people, get up top, run, running people off the compound. Can you imagine that? That 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 happened. That went on in federal prison. He have a story to tell. Well, the reason why I hook up with him is because he's been through stuff way before me. He was locked up as long than I was, and he have a story, and he can help the youth. He can help the at risk youth. That's why I want him to give out his story and show these youngsters like, hey, y'all out here having fun. Y'all out here cutting up. But guess what? This would await you in federal prison, man. You could lose your life. You know, and I want him to get at to the people. But, man, Shreveport, Louisiana, aka the Ratchet, 
aka 50 Port Louisiana. Yeah, that's right. It's 50 Port Louisiana to me. Because 50 show love to the, to, the, to the city. And I, first of all, I don't speak for Shreveport. But my visit there, all the love that I received in Shreveport, you'd have thought I was from Shreveport. Shout out to Shreveport one more again. Oh, man, it was so beautiful out there. And I had the chance to, you know how you see a lot of stuff on social media. Oh, they had a blast, they had a party, da, da, da. I was actually there where I witnessed the love. No shooting, no violence. Like, and the crazy part about it, it was from Thursday to Sunday. Thursday to Sunday with no shooting and the ratchet? Oh, man. They deserve another free party. Thursdays and Sunday with no shoot. Oh man, and them little, and them little youngsters was out and about too. Oh, they was out and about. Yeah, they was out and about, but they they just, you know what? We're gonna stand down this weekend to enjoy the festivities. And that's what they did. And I really appreciate that. Man, it was it was some beautiful and I met so many people out there. Oh man, listen. I understand when people say you don't take the sand to the beach. There were so many beautiful women that came. I, oh, it, shout out to Texas. Shout out to Mississippi. Because it was people that drove from Mississippi. Or, oh, from Pensacola, Florida. To come down to the event. So, yeah, man. It, it, was, it, was, a, it was a lovely, beautiful event. Like I say, when I was out, I was out there from Thursday and I left Sunday. And I didn't hear about nobody. All that I knew they had were people were so drunk, they were still laid out on the street. They were still sleeping on sidewalk. It was dark. It was that, that's what I witnessed. But as far as like drama, no drama. All fun. It was a beautiful experience. I really, really had fun. I appreciate that. I appreciate that to the full. And I went around 50, the, the uh, what they call that thing, the, the place he got. I went around there. I went check that out. I did a podcast. And ain't my business. Let's talk about it. Shout out to my boy, Shorty. Um, Shorty be having that podcast crunk, too. But I want to say this. Because it was some guys that was a little upset. Um, were 50 with the ratchet situation. Y'all born and raised there, so y'all know what it is. Y'all know it's ratchet. Don't, don't worry about when 50 make his statement about this because then he got to do that for the people that, that we classify as this color. It's a business move he got to do. And he showed y'all that, hey, downtown, 50 Port Louisiana, downtown part, man, that's what it is. The people got to come in. And guess what? We know that there's the big ratchet down here in Shreveport. But the thing is, Ain't nothing ratchet happy. It was all fun. The casino, everybody got along, and everybody just came through, showed love, and just hung out. Man, you gotta love it. Man, hot boy, hot boy Gator. Now nah, I don't like this part. Now he had me walking. I walked some blocks now. Yeah, I shared a few pounds now, but man, he, yo, shout out to my girl Treasure. Shout out to my girl uh, Nara. They was out there helping out. Shout out to my boy Pooh. He drove from uh Pooh Shays. He a rapper. I mean, my bad, my Pooh Shays, my bad Pooh. Um, he drove from um Pensacola, him and his cousin, to come hang out with me. Shout out to Frank Nitty. He came down and interviewed me while I was in uh Shreveport. So uh 50 Port. So at the end of the day, um, much love to all of them. We had fun, we hung out. The G Dom. Man, them people took a park lot and put a big air balloon thing over that thing and made a uh, party out that thing. People was out there hanging out in there comfortable. Shout out to Songbird. She have a beautiful voice. Ain't she fine too? But um, yeah, I met some people. Let me see if I can remember. Shout out to Cole. She from Mississippi too. Yeah, she from Mississippi. Uh, I gotta see who else. There was some more people. It's a lot of guys, a lot of people I've met. Um, I can't remember. Oh, I came across some Crips, too. The whole family. It was in a restaurant. Because I had a restaurant, took a picture with them. 
You know, they had the black and gold on with the, with the black with the blue flag in their pocket. And one of them threw it up, threw up the set. Like, yeah, man. There's love, man, everywhere, man. Man, it was some love everywhere. Yeah, it was love everywhere, man. But I look forward to seeing that uh, go down again. I look forward to seeing that go down again, man. Once again, shout out to 50 Cent. Shout out to 50 Cent. 50 Cent came down to Shreveport, Louisiana. Blocked off downtown. The blocks had police where it shut down, where you couldn't even drive down certain blocks. Yeah, they had the blocks shut off. You couldn't drive down certain blocks. And guess what? Everybody got it on fine. Yeah, a little people's a little upset because they couldn't drive. They want to get there. But I told my, like I told Hot Boy Gator, be patient. We here now. We ain't got nowhere to go. We right here. We don't have to be in a rush, brother. Be right here. Went on down, went down, come around, come on up. You know, and we, the hotel I stayed in, the police sat right on the corner. Yeah, they sat right there, so I had security. Yep, 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 it yep. Yeah, man. That was a nice one. Oh, I met this other guy. He pulled up to interview me. He had been shot. Pulled up in his bins. He handicapped. Because he had hit me up, man. When he was, All right, come on through, man. I, 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 I'm, let's get it. I like money. But when he pulled up in the bins with the little thing, the, the gas and brakes, I said, well, he really had So his wheelchair in the back seat. He went in his pocket, get him out. I said, I right, keep the money. And we would we just chop it up. Yeah, man, this man drove from Bozier, Bozier to come over on my side where I was at to interview me by himself, dog. And he was in a wheelchair, but he was driving. He had that little thing hooked on where you could, you know, because he came, he was just down here, you he know, feelings. But that man drove over there to interview me, to, keep, to chop it up with me. I said, nah, you got to keep your money, bro. Yeah, but I had some fun out there. Like I said, I got with the podcast. Um, I took pictures with him, too. Actually, I'm going to try to contact him to, so I can put the pictures behind so y'all can see them. I can show y'all the little th things, how, how that thing was lit out there, too. Just want to give y'all a visual. I went live on my YouTube channel as well tonight so you all could see some of the festivities, what was going on. I went live, you know. Um, I was outside because, you know, they, they um, you know, some, you know, one of the goofies be saying, you know, I'm always hiding behind the computer. I don't never come outside. I was outside downtown Shreveport, no, no, no security. I was outside. So, and I don't have a point to prove nobody. Um, they ain't going to let them trick me now. Let's get that straight. But, you know, I like to play too, you know. I like to enjoy life too sometimes. So I'm going to come on out, stick it out, all right. Hello, I'm gone. But at the end of the day, I've been around a few states. I've been to a few states since I've been home. Shreveport, Louisiana was the, was the first place that I went to, that I visited since I've been home these two and a half years, that I had the best time of my life. The best time of my life at 50 Port, Louisiana. Downtown. That's 50 Port, down there, y'all. 50 Port, Louisiana. That 50, 50 got that, man. 50 came and brought some money to the city, and he brought some fun, and everybody enjoyed. I'm pretty sure. I know y'all got, I know a lot of y'all got some girlfriends, boyfriends, uh, fiancés. Y'all got, y'all, come on, man. There were too many people out there. I know y'all, them y'all just gave us some phone numbers or something. Y'all might win half on babies last night. The night before, and then, and then or might have intentions to do it. Now, I don't know, but I know there was a lot of women out there. Oh man, yeah, it was a lot of a lot of women out there, man. Y'all know my motto: Let's say no to drugs, stop the violence, put the guns down. Make sure y'all get tested for HIV and AIDS, cause y'all need to know y'all status. We got the nonprofit; they need us. The Instagram need us. Third Ward, the movie, them boys at war, the reality show, Survive Without Birdman, and most importantly. Shout out to BXBZ YouTube channel. That's Bam Bam. He's 411, 411 Giant. He have a YouTube channel. For those who have children, um, who have nephews, cousins, that y'all want them to get out the streets or they need to hear interesting stories that, 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 that were similar to mine, Bam Bam have them. They need to tune in. He's in Shreveport. And um, 
he's part of the solution right now. You, they need to hear this because he was in them trenches for 27 years in federal prison. Please check him out. Hit him up because um, these youngsters need to hear this stuff. They really need. He was the, he the, he was locked down for his restraints for 40 days. 40 days. He'd have been locked up so they had a handcuff him so long his skin was starting to cover with a handcuff. But I don't want to give up too much of his story. Tune into him. Check him out. Hot Boy Gator. Shout out to my nephew, Hot Boy Gator. He got his music popping. Um, I support him. Salute. Make sure y'all check him out. Cause he showed me. Everybody who rock with OG Giggity, please rock with Hot Boy Gator. Because he took the time out to show me around the city. Um, man, I forgot his boy name. They came got me in a, in, a, in, a, in a black truck, in a ride. Got the screen in the back. I was sitting back, dig, being scored all around the city. And one more time, one more again, shout out to the Songbird. She on Facebook, Songbird. She can sing her butt off. She's a pretty lady too, y'all. Check her out. She did a song with High Point Gator. I'm going to do a song with her too. Y'all know me now. Y'all know me, hey, man. I got to do a song with you too, girl. Anyway, oh, thank y'all for all the support. I'm out. Wah! Shreveport, Louisiana, a.k.a. 50 Port, Louisiana. That's just what it is. The big ratchet. It's going to always be the ratchet, though. No, it is what it is.